The following excerpt is from one of my favorite books of all time. This is the book that got me into reading and stimulated my love and interest in reading. This is the book that I think every human being on the planet should probably read, and that is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. When I was a kid, I didn't feel like I was skilled or good, talented at anything, really, and I felt lost. I didn't feel like there was anything for me. What am I going to do in this life? What can I dedicate my life towards? I didn't know. And this book, and what I'm about to read, illuminates what is possible. That you can find, and everyone has, their own personal legend, personal calling. And this book illuminated to me, as a young adult and teenager when I read this, that I can find it, and it does exist, this thing that fills you, fills your cup, this path of walking through life that gives you meaning, fulfillment, and fills you with ultimate enthusiasm and vigor, something you know in your heart of heart is the thing you should do. It is possible to find, I believe, for everybody. But life stultifies this, and suffocates this, especially as we grow older. I hope this can illuminate to some, regardless of their age, like this book illuminated to me in my younger years, that it is possible and you can find your own personal legend. We all need to be aware of our personal calling. But what is a personal calling? What is a personal legend? It is God's blessing. It is the path that God chose for you here on earth. Whenever we do something that fills us with enthusiasm, we are following our legend. However, we don't all have the courage to confront our own dream. Why? There are four obstacles. Now, before we get into the four obstacles, before people get emotional or fixed on the idea of God, let God be whatever you want God to be. Don't allow the stereotype, or stigma, or attachment, and love, and dedication, and devotion to the word God distract you from the meaning behind what is being said. Find your own symbol for what God is for you. So, what are the obstacles that get in the way of us finding our personal legend? Because once we identify them, we can get through them to find what is truly our personal calling and legend. First, we are told from childhood onward that everything we want to do is impossible. We grow up with this idea as the years accumulate, and so too the layers of prejudice, fear, and guilt. And it comes to time when our personal calling is so deeply buried in our soul as to be invisible. But it's still there. If we have the courage to dissent a dream, we are then faced by... The second obstacle, love. We know what we want to do, but are afraid of hurting those around us by abandoning everything in order to pursue our dream. We do not realize that love is just a further impetus, not something that will prevent us going forward. We do not realize that those who generally wish us well and want us to be happy are prepared to accompany us on that journey. Once we have accepted that love is a stimulus, we come up against the third obstacle. Fear. Fear of the defeats we will meet on the path. We who fight for our dreams suffer far more when it doesn't work out. Because we cannot fall back on the old excuse, oh, well, I didn't really want it anyway. We do want it. And we know that we have staked everything on it. And that path of the personal calling is no easier than any other path, except that our whole heart is in the journey. Then, we warriors of light must be prepared to have patience in difficult times and to know that the universe is conspiring in our favor, even though we may, we may not understand how. And so it's this trust in the universe, this trust in God, this trust in whatever higher being power, trust in yourself that it will be okay and maybe... If all of that doesn't even sound appealing to you, perhaps you can placebo yourself into believing the world is conspiring with you. How could it be useful to think otherwise? 
How could it be more useful to think otherwise? So I ask myself, are defeats necessary? Well, necessary or not, they happen. When we first begin fighting for our dream, we have no experience and make many mistakes. The secret of life, though, is to fall seven times and get up eight times. So why is it so important to live your personal calling if we are only going to suffer more than other people? Because once we have overcome the defeats, and we always do, we are filled with a greater sense of euphoria and confidence. In the silence of our hearts, we know that we are proving ourselves worthy of the miracle of life. If that is not reason to fight and find and stay on the path of your personal calling and legend, I don't know what is. You prove yourself worthy to the miracle that life is by overcoming the trials, tribulations, and defeats that riddle our lives. Each day, each hour is part of the good fight. We start to live with enthusiasm and pleasure. Intense, unexpected suffering passes more quickly than suffering that is apparently bearable. The latter goes on for years, without our noticing, eats away at our soul until one day we are no longer able to free ourselves from the bitterness and it stays with us for the rest of our lives. That is what happens if you run away and dull your personal legend and suffocate it and let fear and excuses and others smolder your calling and your desires. And so having disinterred our dream, having used the power of love to nurture it and spend many years living with the scars, we suddenly notice that what we always wanted is there, waiting for us, perhaps the very next day. Then comes the fourth obstacle, the fear of realizing the dream for which we fought all our lives. Oscar Wilde said, each man kills the thing he loves. And it's true. The mere possibility of getting what we want fills the soul of the ordinary person with guilt. We look at all those who have failed to get what they want and feel that we do not deserve to get what we want either. We forget about all the obstacles we overcame, all the suffering we endured, all the things we had to give up in order to get this far. <sighs> I think as I read that, I realized finally what the meaning of that is and symbolism and relevancy that had to me. I've read that passage many, many times, and I just, I think I'm finally understanding it more. You see, when you start to attain the lifestyle that you desire and want, you start to do things that fulfill you more. You have more meaning in your life. You experience more joy. Things aren't as difficult as they once were through so many of the years of endurement are starting to bear fruit. You know, I start to think, shit, it's too easy. Have I got it too easy? Like, isn't it supposed to be harder? I've had so many years of being really hard and difficult and climbing uphill and sweating and bleeding. Isn't that just going on forever? And in some ways it does, because life is inherently suffering, but you work to make that suffering more bearable. You work, to, you work so hard, you fight all your life, keep moving on the path of your personal legend so you can feel better and enjoy more of life. And so I felt like... Am I enjoying life too much? I felt this fourth obstacle, the fear of realizing the dream to which we fought all our lives, so we push it down. We feel, I don't, you know, you almost feel like you're an imposter. I don't deserve this. Am I, is this really what I'm experiencing? Is good things happening to me now? I'm starting to live a life that I want to live more. And if I keep going on the path, I might even get to greater heights of freedom and success and joy and meaning and fulfillment. But a part of you feels like you don't deserve it. It's like, I'm not 
suffering painstakingly every single moment or day as much as I was. But you see, what Paolo is saying is so true. We forget about the obstacles we overcame. I forgot. I forgot about all the, not literally forgot, but you forget in the moment. Hold on, you built this. This is what you worked towards. All these years of overcoming. All these years of pain and challenge. And falling down seven times and getting up eight. That is supposed to equal, eventually, this feeling. Isn't it? A feeling of liberation and freedom and, and, and more meaning. And, and like, I can breathe a little more now. Not every day has to be stressful. I can, I can smile and laugh a little bit more. I can enjoy the, the, the finer pleasures of life a little bit more. Because why do I have to be a slave and feel like I have to be just painstakingly hard on myself every moment and every day and I don't deserve the cake or the cookie until I bleed? It's like this story we create for ourselves that we have to, everything has to be difficult in order for us to earn the right to feel pleasure and fulfillment and joy and meaning. <sighs> but that's, that's the trick we play on ourselves. It's the trick I played on myself. I'm playing on myself. And Coelho continues, I have known a lot of people who, when their personal calling was within, was within their grasp, went on to commit a series of stupid mistakes and never reached their goal when it was only a step away. This is the most dangerous of obstacles because it has a kind of saintly aura about it. Renouncing joy and conquest. You know, we think we're more virtuous because we're renouncing against joy and conquest. No, always more. If you believe yourself worthy of the thing you fought so hard to get, then you become an instrument of God. You help the soul of the world and you understand why you are here. You see, you can only believe yourself worthy of the thing you, you have once you fought so hard to get it. That is the foundation, if you are just given something from nothing, you inherit a certain amount of success and wealth, you're just given opportunity based on something you didn't earn, why would you think yourself worthy? And if you did, you'd probably just be lying to yourself. You'd probably be tricking yourself. But if you fought so hard to get where you are and become who you are, and then you can recognize that truth, if it is true, then you can believe yourself worthy. And if you can then believe yourself worthy, the floodgates open. Your potential... Is unleashed. You become an instrument of God. Of the world. And you understand why you are here. 